bed bugs are back and forcing government officials and homeowners to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars to kill the pests. You tend to think of bed bugs as pests that live in hotel rooms, but public health officials say they're seeing them just about everywhere people go. Bed bugs are back right across the country, and not just beneath the bed linen, but infesting entire buildings. Ah, yeah, there's a nationwide panic over bed bugs these days, and not just in the home, in department stores, movie theaters, maybe even daytime talk show studios. So, so we are today. finding out where they come from and how to fight back from research etymologist for Bed Bug Central, Jeff White. Welcome. Okay. Me. Well, we need you because let's go to basics first. Sure. What are these little bed bugs? Why are they a problem all of a sudden? Basically, What's going I have on? some here with me. So oh, convenient. Thanks. What, what we have here are bed bugs. Okay. They're about a quarter inch long, sure. oval, flat, and reddish oh, brown. Oh, that one is moving. Yes, they, they are alive. moving. Gotcha. They're alive. Okay. They're ready to go. And they feed on blood. And so what they usually do is they usually live somewhere associated with the bed, back of the headboard, under the box spring, whatever the case may be. Okay. And why they're making a comeback is we don't have the same pesticides that we had back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. You could apply those in your house, and they might remain active for several months, maybe even several years. Sure. Yeah. A lot of the pesticides today don't work quite that way. Also, a lack of public awareness. People not understanding this is a very real problem. It's, it's not sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. No, it's, it's a real deal. Um, New York, number one, obviously we're mm -hmm. hearing a lot about it. Where else are these bed bugs hanging out? We found them in a lot of different countries. Um, we found them, you know, they've shown up in Europe and all over the world. And all 50 states are reporting problems. Even Alaska has shown a significant increase. And it uh -oh. doesn't get any more rural than Alaska. Better no, watch I out. Mean, Sarah they, Palin better watch out. I knew it. I just knew the mention. In a bed bug segment, she brings in Sarah Palin. Anyway, you're, bug you're bugging me. You're bugging me. I need a pesticide, all right. Um, we, um, so they're, they're in movie theaters, though. They're shopping stores, malls. They're pretty social. Where else? Absolutely. Uh, literally what anywhere, please. What happens, yeah, what happens is people have a problem at home, and they end up taking them to wherever they're going on a, a purse or a backpack or whatever the case may be. They live out, like, on a purse, too. They, well, what they the do is that's... of a pocketbook. That's how they get around. They're great hitchhikers. And uh -huh. so they hitch a ride on that, and people don't realize they have a problem at home or they don't know how to prevent taking them to those locations. Okay, God. so we, obviously yep. we have a bed okay. here. So, so what we have here... So, tell us what to do. Okay, so yeah, if you think or you want to do a quick inspection of your home, what you want to do is you want to look at the back of the headboard and the sides of the headboard. So you that's, couldn't see them on here because it's well, brown. No. They're going to hide. Like they're going to hide in cracks and crevices, but uh -huh. they're going to leave their fecal spotting behind, which, as disgusting as it is, is what they leave when they go to the bathroom. Okay. And uh, the bugs themselves, and they'll be on the back of the headboard. And then what you'll do is you also want to check the bed itself. Okay. And so, you want to flip the uh, sheets up, and you're going to look at the ribbing <clears throat> on the mattress. Okay. All the little crevices. All where they the little hide. They love seams and edges, and so they're going to be in these little cracks and crevices. But really, okay. the number one area. Shadow, though, I thought it was a bug. <laughs> <laughs> I've been itching ever since I heard this segment was on. Yeah. I creep everybody out. The, the main, I'm the creepiest guy on show business the, right now. The main signs that you're looking, so you look in all these crevices, mm -hmm. you see those dark spots that you just and saw, right? And the bugs right? themselves, usually. And the bugs themselves. Now, what you also want to look for, though, are bites in the morning. If you're waking up with bites in the morning, that's obviously a warning sign. But the number one area we find them is the bottom of the box spring. Do that's the bites look like mosquito bites? Yeah. They, everybody like? reacts differently. Oh. And so you never really know. And actually, some people don't react at all. <laughs> but most people do react, and they tend to show up, yes, yeah, similar to mosquito bites on a lot of people, but they show up in rows. So how do you know if they're not mosquito, they're not mosquito they bites? They tend to show up in rows and clusters of three. And of so three. if you're waking up with three bites on your arm oh, or three good, bites on your neck, that's a good tip. Absolutely. Oh, that's my very gosh. Good. Okay. Yep. Now, they're using dogs now yeah. to find these bed bugs, correct? Right? Any dogs, certain well, dogs. Well, no, there's dogs that are trained. Dog. There they go. There's dogs that are trained to detect the live odor of bed bugs. And they go in and they scratch or sit where they think they detect bed bugs. Can I train my dogs? <laughs> no, seriously. No, no really, absolutely. I don't know if you could take any dog. You want to find the right dog with the right nose to do it. But, yes, you can have uh, any dog can be trained. It doesn't need to be a beagle or any other type of dog. What about kids? Can kids be trained? Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's another show. Another show. <laughs> there are also products that you can Absolutely. use, right, to prevent okay. or are, treat. Canines are very good. And okay. these will both, a lot of these will help you do both. And so what we have here are climb-up insect interceptors. And what these are is there a little tray that goes under your leg of your bed or couch. And as the bugs travel to and from the bed, they get trapped in this outer well. Oh, so you just put them under the, yep, the absolutely. bed absolutely. You put them right oh. in here, and then the bugs get trapped in here, and you can see them. So that's okay. a good way to even find out if exactly. you have them. Exactly. It's a good way to help with control okay. and also help identify a problem early. Any sprays, like a deodorant maybe you could use? <laughs> no, seriously, yeah. like a de you know, they were yeah. using off. I mean, you could put off, and it might help, but there's no research really right now that says one way or another that's no. really going to help you that much. Okay, um, look at this right here. Okay, what we have here are protect 
back-to-bed bedding casements. And what these are is they go around the mattress and box spring, and they both lock bugs in and keep bugs out. So if you're traveling, you're going on vacation, you do business travel, yeah. this is something you can put on your bed, and what this will do is it will make inspections much easier. What do you mean? How do you do it? So yeah, basically, do this is a model of an actual mattress. Oh, Pretend this is a big size mattress or box spring. I thought you travel with it. You travel with that. And they all go to that. So you take this, and you put it on the mattress. And they get restricted to the outside. Now think of the bottom of a box spring. There's all these little holes sure. and seams, this is much easier to inspect. And oh. finding this problem earlier makes it much easier to treat so as well. So yeah, do you recommend that, that if you go to a hotel or a bed bug and breakfast, mm -hmm. do you... <laughs> <laughs> Do you put it on the mattress? No, I don't, because that's going to be a lot of work, not to mention it's their property, and if you do that, you may have issues oh. there. So, so you, this is really you, for your house. It's really for your home, When you absolutely. find them, are you supposed to treat it yourself, or do you call somebody? Basically, what you want to do is, if you know, you can treat it on your own. We always recommend contact a knowledgeable professional. You can actually make this problem worse by trying to treat it on your own. Now, not everybody can afford this. This can be very expensive. A sure. treatment could take 800 to $1,200 or more oh to get gosh. rid of these problems. So if you're going to do that... The pesticides you buy, you want to make sure you follow the label directions very carefully. Okay. They're there for your protection, and they're there so you don't hurt yourself with the pesticides. Thank you so much. This is all no great problem. information. Jeff, hey, for more info about bed bugs and Bed Bugs Central, just visit our website. We'll be right back. Yes.